This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. They are also home of the daily deals so be sure to check out that section. They also have a large inventory of some of the most popular crafting items in the industry. So happy shopping! For today's project, I'll be making a clean and simple card and I'm using this Newton's Nook um, Pug Hug stamp set and I'm just going to be using one stamp from this set and I'll also be using the Nita Pug sentiment and I'll be using that one little dog that's kind of sitting with its back turned and I'm using some Nina uh, Classic Crest Solar White cardstock and I'm putting that in my stamping tool I'll be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp out that cute little pug Once that pug is all stamped out, I'll be using Spectrum Noir markers, and that's MB1, and I'll be using that to color the pug, and then I'm also going to be using a Faber-Castell polychromo uh, colored pencil to make the muzzle and the ears a little bit darker color, just like a fawn colored pug. And once that pug is all finished being colored, I will cut that out. And now I'm going to create the panel for my card, and that's a lawn fawn rectangle die. It's the dotted die. And I'm going to lay that on a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of uh, Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of washi tape. And I'm going to tape that onto the cardstock so it doesn't move because I want to make a frame. But I, I'm also going to use that inside piece so this way it doesn't shift in my Big Shot machine. So I'm going to cut that out with the Big Shot. And here it is all cut out and I'm going to carefully remove uh, the washi tape from the cardstock. And I do it real super careful so I don't, you know, accidentally rip or uh, tear the cardstock. And I'll save that part for later. And this is the frame part that I will also be using. And there it is, and it's perfect. I'll be using this My Favorite Thing stencil, and it's called Abstract. And I'll be using these Distressed Inks, Carved Pumpkin, Mustard Seed, Mermaid Lagoon, Candied Apple, and um, Lucky Clover. And I'll be using the, the Distress Tool, the round one. I'll be taking that stencil, and that's the inner part of the um, rectangle that I cut out from the frame. And I'm placing that... Uh, upside down on the stencil and I'm using washi tape to tape that on so it doesn't wiggle and then I'm going to use all five of those distress inks and I'm going to go in a diagonal pattern um, starting at the corner diagonally and I will blend all of those inks diagonally onto that piece of cardstock. And I've gotten it the way I want it, nice and bright with those nice crisp white lines. And this is a standard A2 size card base. 
and I'm going to glue that frame onto this card base and uh, because you know it's kind of flimsy and it's hard to work with I am going to use wet adhesive because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room to move it around where I need it to be whereas if, if you use a dry adhesive once you stick it on there it's stuck so if it's crooked uh, tough <laughs> but with liquid adhesive and this is art glitter glue you have a little bit of wiggle room Here's a blooper for you. That's a bug, so I just flicked it off. <laughs> and now I'm going to take that distressed panel and I'm just going to glue it into uh, that frame. And I'm just going to use a dry adhesive for that. And once I decide where I want the pug, I don't like my critters or, or people floating. So I like to anchor them with uh, these. Uh, my favorite things uh, shadow ovals and I'm going to use kind of that medium shadow oval and I'm gonna cut that out on black cardstock and I just leave them all attached and then I run it through my my big shot and then I put them in that envelope you know then that way I can just pick what shadow spots I want but I happen to be out of that size so I'm gonna run that through the big shot and then I will take my shadow spot and I will glue it on with some art glitter glue and then I will glue the pug on top of the shadow spot. I decide I want to have a think bubble and that's the perfect think bubble and it's actually from Newton's Nook also and it's from the Newton's Nap Time uh, stamp set and die set. I'm not using the stamp, just the die. So I'm going to cut that out on uh, some white cardstock. And before I glue that down, that thought bubble down, I'm just going to use my stamping tool and I'm going to use that Need a Pug sentiment from the Pug set. And I'm just going to uh, use uh, the Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp that sentiment into the thought bubble. And now I'm just going to glue that thought bubble and the little dots, you know, for the thought bubble uh, with some art glitter glue and I'm just gluing that on where I want them. And there's the card all finished. It turned out super cute. I love these bright colors. And all of the products I've used will be listed down below. So be sure to check that out. And thanks for watching. Bye.